Hi, in this video, let us see how to create a model to demarcate flood prone areas. Here we have streams and an Alabama shapefile over here. Now let us start creating a model by clicking the analysis menu over here and then clicking the model builder over here. Now a new window will open. Now let us click on add, add um, tool by clicking on this drop down list and then searching for clip. Let's double click on this icon and then we have a clip icon over here. Now double click on this and then let us give features over here. Let's give the streams as input features and then clip features as Alabama. Now let us click OK now. Now we have it here. Now let us import another tool called buffer. Now let's double click on this. Now we have a buffer tool over here. Click on this and drag it over to the buffer tool and then click on the release it and then click on the input features. Now let's double click on this and give a distance value for this. Let's give it three miles and then click on OK. Now the buffer tool is ready. Now let's insert another tool called Dissolve. This tool will this tool will uh, this tool will combine any shape file that overlaps into a single area. Now let's click on this and then click on drag it over here and then click on in features. Now we have our model here. Now let us create a good layout by clicking the auto layout button over here. Now let, before testing this model, let's click on here and add to display to check it out. Now let's click on the run button to run this model. Now it's done. Now let's go and take a look of it over the map. Now you see it has been created. Now to build this model as a tool, let us first give a parameters for the tool. Now let us right click on this and then check this as parameters. Now let us right click and rename this as input features. Now we need a boundary for this. Now let's create this as a parameter and then create and rename this as boundary. Now the, to give the user the option of inserting a buffer range, let's create a variable for the buffer called the distance. Now let's give this as a parameter and then rename this as buffer distance. Now let's rename the other, now let's give this as a parameter also, it's an output feature class. Now let's save this as a tool now by clicking this save and save as. Now let's give this as flood prone, save it as flood prone and then click save. Now let us go to the map. Now let's click on the toolbox over here. Now let's search for our tool over here by clicking this. Now we have our tool over here. Let us click on it and then we have over here. Now for this take, let us give the streams and then the boundary as something different. Now let's give this Mississippi shape file and then let's and then let's save this and click and run. Now you see we have the flood prone areas here for the Mississippi map. 